Now let us come to the sexual reproduction in the protosomes. During this process, there is a reduction of number of chromosomes and the haploid gametes fuse to form the diploid zygote. There are two types of sexual reproduction occur in the protosomes, and the first one is the conjugation. In the conjugation, it is majorly seen in the ciliates. There is the two individuals come together temporarily and fuse along, and their macronuclei divide into number times and leads to the small pronuclei formation in the individual species and those found pronuclei are exchanged by each conjugates and the process is known as the conjugation which means consider this is the one proton and this is other protons and their macronuclei uh, divides and and these uh, uh, pronuclei are exchanged by the ciliates and uh, such type of rep sexual reproduction is called as the conjugation and when it comes to a cytogony in this case there is two organisms pair but there is no fusion or exchange of nuclear material but the macronucleus disappears and the micronucleus divides into four and two disappears and they separate and in the cytogamy in which the two uh, protons come together but there is no exchange of the uh, nuclear material uh, what simply happens means the uh, micronuclei which is present in the individual uh, protons they divide to form uh, pronuclei and these uh, pronuclei are fused to form the nuclei then again they separate this is the cytogony it differ from the conjugation uh, by without uh, exchange or fusion of the uh, nuclear material this is about the cytogony and when it comes to endomixis or atomixis here in this not even two organisms come together but the nucleus goes uh, on as above said in the cytogamy, cytogamy which means in the endomixis there is no uh, pairing or uh, come together of the uh, protons but the individual proton which uh, uh, micro macronuclear macronucleus disappears and the present micronucleus nucleus which divides to form other pronucleus and uh, those formed pronuclei are fused to form the nucleus and this is majorly helps in the revitalizing the revitalizing process which mean the uh, which mean reorganization of the nuclear material in the individual uh, proton this is about the endomixis now we left with the uh, size again which means here two or more gametes that is gametes is the dividing cell which leads to the formation of uh, formation of um, merozoites and uh, those again enter into the sexual reproduction and in the Saijagi there are two or more gametes joints end to end and then separate this occurs in the hepatozoan canis species and this is about the sexual reproduction of the conjugation uh, in protozoans which include uh, the cytogamy and endomixis and Saijagi uh, in conjugation there is the exchange, exchange of the nuclear material which will be place but in case of cytogamy there is no exchange of the nuclear material but there is the pair of the two organisms and the macronucleus disappears the micronucleus divides leading to the formation of pronuclei and those found pronuclei will fuse to form the nucleus and again those uh, 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 those uh, protons separate this is about the cytogamy without uh, exchange of the nuclear material but in case of endomixis there is not even the two organisms come closest but the individual uh, organisms uh, the macronucleus disappears micronucleus divides to form the pronuclei and those pronuclei form to the nucleus this is the help in the uh, reorganization of the nuclear material of the individual proton this is about the endomixis but in case of sajagi uh, there is the two or more gametes joint end to end and then separates this is about the sajagi now let us come to the next type of sexual reproduction that is syngamy this is the process of fusion of two gametes to form a zygote and if the gametes are same same in size and they are called as isogametes if they differ in their or uh, if they are dissimilar then the such type of gametes are called as an, an isogametes the gametes are produced by a special cell called as gametes and those are microgametes or macrogametes and the process of gamete formation is known as gametogony or gametogony the smaller gametes is usually male and is called as microgamete or microgametocyte which divides mitotically the nucleus divides into number of bits uh, each surrounded by cytoplasm fragment forming the microgametes and they are actually motile by means of flagella and the, which means the microgametes has the flagella and uh, the large one is the female and is usually called as the macrogamete which contains the large amount of the cytoplasm 
with compact nucleus of more food reserve they divide by meiosis but in case of microgamets they divide by mitosis uh, and uh, they are motile and have flagella but in case of uh, macrogamet they divide by meiosis and uh, into a single macrogamet which is a non motile and it is a round or ohm like structure now let us come to the isogamy and an anisogamy with the an isogamy is the process where the fusion of two identical gametes will be there but in case of an isogamy or a heterogamy there is gametes of different size fuse resulting into a gamut zygote this is about the syngamy uh, in which isogamy and anisogamy is there now let us come to the sporogamy it occur in the apicomplex and protozoans here zygote may be divided to form number of sporozoites and the process of the formation of the sporozoites is known as the sporogamy a syngamy occurs leads to the zygote formation and sometimes zygote undergo oocyst formation and from that the sporozoites will release the process of release of sporozoites from the zygote or the oocyst is known as the sporogamy now let us come to the what is oocyst zygote with the cyst is the oocyst if there are if they are not expelled and they develop into a sporoblast if it is uh, in a cyst like wall then it is called as sporocyst which means the oocyst is the zygote within the cyst which develops into sporoblast and the sporoblast again develops into a sporocyst sporocyst is the uh, having the zygote uh, inside and covered by the cyst like wall and in some uh, sporoblast has no cyst hence come out to start moving it is called as sporokinetes and the sporoblast become the sporozoites and become infective to host a sporozoites is the infective stage to the host now let us come to cyst formation in the protozoa some protozoa form a resistant cyst or spores the vegetative motile stage of protozoan is known as tropozoite tropozoite uh, is a vegetative motile stage of the protozoa it is an uh, actively feeding and growing but not a reproducing stage uh, tropozoite will uh, in turn result in the formation of cyst cyst is the result of the formation of uh, heavy wall around itself by a protozoa and the pseudo cyst is uh, formed by the host and uh, such type of cyst is called pseudo cyst and whenever the uh, host will form the wall around the oocyte uh, then such case is known as the pseudo cyst and whenever the wall is formed by the protozoa itself then it is called as true cyst or cyst now let us come to spore spore is produced within the organism by the formation of heavy wall around one or more individuals and each spore or cyst may contain one or more sporozoites cyst occurs in uh, various stages in the development cycle of the organism that is in the protozoa and uh, there are mainly three cases of the formation of the cyst the first case is uh, following syngamy after the uh, fusion of two gametes there is the formation of zygote and that is the syngamy after syngamy there is the formation of cyst and the such case is noticed in the imeria species and oocyte zygote in the insect of vector and it is also absorbed in the uh, malaria the vector that is insect and the second one is the formation of cyst independent of the syngamy this is uh, absorbed in the antimeba and gyrus species and the other type of formation of cyst is the pseudo cyst uh, that is we already discussed earlier that is the cyst found in the tissue of the host but the wall is formed by the reaction of the host then it is called as the pseudo cyst in the uh, sarcocystis or taxoplasma a pseudo cyst uh, in which there is no involvement uh, or a formation of wall by the protozoa itself but the but the wall is formed by the host itself it is called as pseudo cyst and the dole and uh, these are the three cases of formation of cyst in the various uh, developmental cycles the one after the syngamy and uh, second one is the independent of syngamy it may form whenever it, it is needed and the third one is the formation of pseudo cyst by the host now let us come to the function or uses of the cyst wall it helps in the production against the unfavorable environment for a nuclear division which followed by the multiplication at the time of excitement and it helps in the function of attachment it facilitate transmission of one and to other and the factors which contribute to formation of cyst are nutrition deficiency 
and desiccation increase concentration of salt in the media change in temperature low ph and accumulation of metabolites and crowding phenomenon this, these are the factors which uh, uh, favor the formation of cyst in the next video we will discuss about the general life cycle pattern and the mode of transmission in the protozoans after completion of this uh, direct and indirect life cycle we will uh, shift to classification and uh, uh, finally enter into the core subject of the protozoan thank you